there. So, hope you can hear this. But, um, it's Sunday, it's Mother's Day. Shout out to Cheryl, who created me. Ah, the greatest thing. I rock my soul. Anyway, love you, Mom. So, wow, what a ride it's been this week of hitchhiking. I'm in Utah once again. One of my favorite places I've had to patch on my backpack for about a billion years, probably. Anyway, on Monday, I just packed my shit, got all the stuff I was collecting and thinking about what would be best to bring over the last few months, really, all in the bag, uh, once and for all, said my goodbyes, and uh, left, you know, and it's really not as easy as it thinks. People say things get easier. They do, but they don't in some aspects, because... Your, your bonds with your friends and family only get stronger with time, the ones that are going to last. And saying goodbye is hard, you know? And I was really... It, it happened, you know? You got to cut the cord at some point. You got to leave the nest and just jump into the void. And um, it's it was a lot easier than the first time, don't get me wrong. But still, love and miss everyone back home. Peace and love and uh, Arches National Park. But, pack my shit, walk through the woods. Tommy Regan was the first one to pick me up. Shout out to Tommy. Ah. Anyway, made it to Ann Arbor pretty quick without much trouble. Got to the Arborland uh, Starbucks. Got coffee with my friend Carl. He threw me my phone charger. Thank you, Carl. Uh, met a really cool Australian hitchhiker too. Um, he was like, older out of that now but always love meeting kindred spirits on the road one way or another I got a, got a ride from a guy, guy named Greg and uh, that hasn't happened that much you know like one other time when I was in Michigan but <laughs> I think it's a great name fucking name more kids Greg anyway so eventually I got a ride from a trucker he was pretty cool um, man, the fucking vantage point up on his semi is badass. It really is. He dropped me, like, pretty far south in Ohio, right near 70, the fucking interstate, which is, oh my god, that's perfect. I didn't think I was going to get, ah, in there. So, my phone died when I was recording that video. Um, so I'm just going to start where I left off. But now, we are in Penguich, affectionately called Penguin, Utah. All right, all right, so where were we? Um, yeah, got dropped off at 70 at about <clears throat> 11 o'clock, midnight, something later like that. And um, went into a Waffle House to charge my phone, right? Because, obviously, Waffle House is the fucking place to be at midnight, right? So I get into this booth. Of course, it doesn't have an outlet, but fuck it. I'm exhausted. I'm just sitting there. And there's this couple from Texas who, long, long story short, was traveling around the country. And, um, yeah, they were headed to Denver, Denver, Colorado, um, the next morning, right? So Greg, being the um, wily slightly manipulative kind of hitchhiker gypsy kid I've learned how to be I was all well I'm trying to go as far west as I can get but I don't want to cramp your style blah 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 your ride would be great but it's totally up to you not even inconvenient if you can't blah 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 and they're like yeah well our car's stuffed with shit we're kind of we don't really have room blah blah and I'm like that's yeah, fine you know I'll see you guys around perhaps right so they, they up and leave Waffle House, right? I'm just sitting there, because I know I'm like, yep, just wait, just wait. So, uh, I wait about three minutes, and they come back inside, and he waves me over, he's like, hey man, you, if you want a ride, like, we could totally hook you up. And I'm like, for sure, dude. <laughs> Sounds great, because I didn't totally just know you were going to... Anyway, so, sleep in a motel with them, up in the morning, 
start heading straight across 70, right? Make it like to uh, last third of Kansas that day. I was driving in the car because by the time we stopped, it was like 2 a.m., didn't want to pay for a motel. So, <coughs> wake up, drive the west of the way to Denver, um, find some uh, Colorado party favors. So, pick these up, smoke these up. Oh my god. So I gotta say about that. So <coughs> we're in Denver, trying to find a cheap motel. Denver's fucking expensive. We drive over just like 20 miles west to some, I don't even know what the fucking town was called. I gotta look it up. But we park in this Walmart, right? We're just sitting there like, all right, what do? We're finally in Denver, but we're too fucking, we're finally in Denver and we can't think, right? So. right couple like five spots down from us in the walmart parking lot there's this van right and we seen when we're turning into the lot my boy <coughs> nestle out in the corner spanging with mabel and so i says to her i says we should go make friends with that guy right fellow kindred spirit traveling she's like yeah fuck yeah so we we walk over there to talk to him i was like hey man i'm hitchhiking around what are you doing he's like yeah no me me too. I got my dog Mabel's trying to get some burger money. And I was like, you want to go enjoy Colorado with me? He's like, fuck yeah, dude. So we, we walk up this ridge like around Walmart and uh, do what we do best. Then um, met the driver of the van, Wayne. Shout out to Wayne. You the man. Hope you feel better, bro. <coughs> Anyway, <laughs> like Wayne, he's like, yeah, we're fixing to go to California in a couple days. I got some business to attend to, blah, blah, <laughs> So, so, <laughs> he's like, if you want to ride, you're in, bro. I was like, you're fucking kidding me, right? I just found, it. midnight of day one, I find a ride to Denver. It, like half an hour after we get there, I find a ride to California. What the fuck, like... And people say the law of attraction is not real. You can't just think things into existence, Greg. <sighs> All right, guys. Anyway, let's say my goodbyes to the couple. Best of luck, guys. Hope you see this one day. And uh, we're fixing to go camping, right? Hang out in the van for a couple hours. Met Nestle's dog, Mabel. Oh, my God. What a cutie pie. Um, so... <coughs> yeah, we're chilling, we're smoking, bullshitting. We're like, we should go camping in Rainbow Falls because we have a couple days to burn and we're in fucking Colorado. Let's enjoy it, right? So we drive our ass down to Rainbow Falls. As soon as we get there, it, like immediately. And it's funny how things happen like a back to back, like boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. When you really get in the flow, we meet this guy named Kane, right? Retired military. He was, he's fucking hammered, right? He was a really enjoyable, uh, fun person to be around, but then again, who isn't when they're fucking hammered? So, we're partying, drinking beers, smoking doobies. Um, just, oh my god, fucking view in Rainbow Falls. Y'all have ever been there? Just the parking lot with the river and Pikes Peak way up there and then the mountain. Oh, Colorado, what a place. Anyway, partying, and Kane's like, hey, who's fixing to go on a coke run with me? And I'm like, you have fun with that, Wayne. Or, not Wayne, Kane. And um, he's like, what the fuck, bro? You don't want to go get cocaine with me? And I'm like, I don't even want cocaine to begin with. You are fucking hammered. Like, I'm just fixing to enjoy myself. And he is not having it. He tried to convince me a dozen times, including Nestle and Wayne. Eventually, Wayne goes with him, right? We drive up the mountain, get our spot, get camp set up, and then him and Wayne and Kane go get the, the goods. 
which never even happened. They ended up bar hopping, but chill with Nathalie. I'm chilling with Nestle for a minute, make a fire. Um, we both eventually crashed. He's on his tarp with Mabel. I'm in my hammock, swung between these trees. And um, yeah, slept amazing. Fucking love hammock camping. But wake up about 4 a.m., it's like 10 degrees. I'm like, fuck this shit. So I grab like my vape, e-cig, all that stuff out of my hammock, walk up in the van and just crash out again, right? I'll, just, I'll fucking get the hammock in the morning. Well, eventually, Wayne and Ken get back, and Nestle moves in the van too. So it's me, Nestle, Wayne, and Mabel, the dog, in the van, and Kane's sleeping in his car, right? His, um, Nestle's bag and tarp and shit are right there. <coughs> My hammock is right across the way. So we wake up, and Wayne's like, guys, I got a shit bad, right? And I'm like, all right, like, been there, bro. Let's go. So we, we drive down the mountain. They drop some deuces. We drive back up the mountain. And, um, lo and behold, Kane disappeared, along with most of our shit. Well, gee, I wonder where our shit is. So, <coughs> we didn't see him go, we're furious, right? I'm about to rip this fucker's head off. And y'all know me back home. I'm a mellow, chill fucking guy. Until you steal my hammock and I stab you in the fucking throat. Anyway, so we didn't see him go back down the path. We see, so we had to go up. So we just drive up, and being the fucking master of stealth he is, 99 defense, invisibility cloak, and everything, we find him in about three minutes, right? He's right there in his fucking car. And, um, I'm fucking livid, right? Nestle's like, whatever. I'm like, motherfucker, that, I got memories in that hammock. Like, you don't, mm -mm. So, He's just coming down, and he's facing this way, so he starts tearing, about to go up the hill. I jump out of the van, run in front of him, and just, I'm right here in front of his car, like, hit me, fucking hit me, you won't. And he didn't, right? He stopped. So, I lean over, his window's down, I'm like, hey man, you seen our shit? Like, <coughs> we just went and took a shit, and um, then came back up, and all of our stuff's gone, like, you know anything about he's like no dude got no idea <coughs> we're like really <coughs> why'd you why'd you leave and i'm like i look over in his back seat and there's my fucking hammock like literally and it's not like some some hammock that anyone can mistake no it's red orange and yellow y'all seen it it's my, it's my hammock and it's right there in his back seat and i'm like you don't know anything about it because it looks like that's my hammock right there in your car and he's like no i have a i have that kind of hammock too and i'm like oh my mistake like you we have the same hammock i forgot anyway so he knows he's caught right and i'm not i'm kind of like by his driver window not in front of his car and uh so he fucking tears down the mountain right and we're fucking pissed but it's not even worth it because he, he's got a fucking car full of guns and ammo and He's trying to get us to fucking shoot him last night, right? Before he went on the coke run. Anyway. Little did he know. While I was talking to him, he's fucking facing me. And we didn't even plan this. Nestle just fucking... Jesus took the wheel on Nestle. He's sneaking around the other side of his car. And it's because all of his windows are rolled down, right? He's trying to, like, snatch our shit out while I'm distracting him. Fucking brilliant move, Nestle. And our shit, he can't really grab it. It's too far back. But he grabbed his uh, sleeping bag, which is apparently was warm as fuck. Congrats, Nestle. You got your bag back. A better bag, nonetheless. And um, he actually left his bowl, like his marijuana pipe smoking device, in the van, right? And I'm like, this is mine now, motherfucker. Like, it, I wanted a bowl anyway. I was thinking earlier that day, like, I should get a bowl on this trip. I'll just get a bowl every trip. And then when I come home, I'll have a nice little library and there'll all be memories behind all of them and now guess what i got a new one so it all works out some way or another but 